Welcome back everyone to part 13 in this series on creating scripted REST APIs in ServiceNow. In previous videos, we looked at creating an API and creating the resources in that API, but now it's time to discuss security. There are many different ways to secure your API as well as the underlying tables in your API. And we're going to look and demonstrate the main methods for doing that in the next videos. And I strongly recommend that you watch all of them. We're going to start by looking at the table settings. If we look at our table configuration here, there's this setting that says, allow access to this table via web services. So if we check the documentation here for creating a table, it states here that select the checkbox to enable users to make inbound web services, web service queries to this table. So in other words, if that checkbox is ticked, then we allow or permit API queries to this table. But in my testing, it seems that this only applies to the table API. I'm not sure about other ServiceNow APIs that come out of the box, but at the very minimum to the table API from ServiceNow. So if we come to Postman here, I'm going to send our get vehicle request, our scripted REST API. Okay, we've tested this before. And if I go ahead and send this request, we get the response back with the vehicle details. Okay, that's what we expect. If we were to do the same thing in the table API and send that request, that should work as well. Except in this case, we're getting all fields from that record back. Okay, so both requests work. Now, if we come back to our table and disable this setting, let's try it again. In my table API, we'll send this request. Now that doesn't work and that's what we expect because we've now disabled API requests to that table. Okay, we're not permitting that. However, if I come back to my scripted REST API, my resource here, okay, that we tested before and send that one again, it works. It continues to work. Okay, so it's not explicitly stated in the documentation, but it seems as though this setting only applies to the table API and maybe to some other ServiceNow APIs out of the box. I'm not sure, I haven't done the testing, but for your scripted APIs, that enabling that setting is not necessary. So now that we know that, let's start talking access controls as a way for securing not only our API, but also our table. And we'll do that in the next two videos.